Right now at 5.30, early voting has started in Duval and Nassau counties. Voters casting their ballots. And if everybody voiced their opinion so we can all hopefully get on one accord and make not only Jacksonville, but the entire country a better place. Early voting this year comes with one big change here in Jacksonville. There are now 24 early voting sites. That's the most that there has ever been. And while people are happy to vote early, I also talked to the Duval County Supervisor of Elections, who says his office is now facing a new challenge, which could have impacts in November, he said. Campaign signs are back out and more foot traffic is in. Early voting for the 2024 primaries is in full swing. Arthur and Sue Bessie stopped by the Southeast Branch Public Library to cast their ballots. I think it's a privilege that we have in this country and we should take advantage of it. Sue says this primary election is important to her. Especially on the local level, you know, this is where it starts. We're the people that make the country great. Right here on the local level. And across town at the EWU Shell Sweet Center, people in this neighborhood celebrated the reopening of this as an early voting site after it was closed in 2020. People in the community pushed for that reopening, and Devon Walker says it's a relief. It's really good to be have an area in your neighborhood where you can walk to it. Uh, even if you have to drive a short distance, that's better. Now, for those individuals that live far out, as early voting ramps up, the Supervisor of Elections Office is also looking to November. Also today, Supervisor of Elections Jerry Holland told me that over $800,000 that he requested for the Supervisor of Elections Office was actually cut from the mayor's proposed budget. Holland says not having that money will have an impact. He told me it would have gone toward things like sending sample ballots out in November, voter information cards. He also said there was also a reduction in what his office uses for advertising and getting the word out. Holland says his office is now looking at ways to restore that money, which means asking the city for savings and possibly even grant money. He told me he's hopeful it'll work out. I'm very optimistic because the people I'm talking to want to see it restored. Even some of the people in the administration says, how can we find the money now? So obviously, I think they realize it was an error to take this money out. In the meantime, voters are also looking ahead, but enjoying the process until November. The people should let their voice be heard. And that's the way I feel. And that's the only way, you know, we're going to find out where we stand. And we have reached out to the mayor's office for a comment about that money not being included in the proposed budget. Now, as of this hour, we have not received a response. But once we do, we will share that response on air and inside this web story on newsforjax.com.